Before we head into season, road work is ramping up. I'm Fox 4's Bella Lyon, and all over Lee County, we're seeing lane closures that could affect your commute, including right here off Sanibel Captiva Road, where they're starting lane closures for vegetation trimming. While we're still in the lull of off season, you may have noticed a few road projects really ramping up and it's happening all over Southwest Florida. But in Lee County, we have a few starting this week on Sanibel Island. The city says this week crews will be trimming the vegetation on both sides of Sanibel Captiva Road, including the shared use path from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. They say, quote, due to the nature of the vegetation work, one lane on Sanibel Captiva Road may be intermittently closed to traffic. One man I spoke with who was using the trail says his kids go to the Sanibel School, which is along the stretch. I mean, we just sort of used to one thing being closed, another thing opening. It's, you know, somewhat frustrating, but you just kind of find a different way around. Jim says they're used to the construction now, as the Sanibel Causeway has been trying to rebuild since Ian. Starting last Friday, part of McGregor Boulevard leading to the bridge is down to one lane both ways. The Florida Department of Transportation says commuters can expect it to stay this way for about six months and delays are expected. One woman I spoke with near the bridge says she was hit by Ian and temporarily lives in downtown Fort Myers. She says the traffic was already bad getting to and from work in Captiva. Now she'll be driving through two lane closure stretches. It's horrible. I work on Captiva and in the mornings, I can get here in about 45 minutes. In the evening, you're an hour and a half. With traffic, once the season starts back up, you're looking at three to three and a half hours just to get downtown. Both Jim and Angela told me the summer construction has only gotten worse since Hurricane Ian, and they're just hoping the repairs help ease the traffic nightmares they saw last season. Unfortunately, yeah, because when people start showing up, it just gets expounded in terms of, you know, more people, less uh, places to go in terms of yeah, traffic wise. The bridge should be first. That has got to, I mean, it, it's when they shut it down to one lane, it, it's intolerable. Reporting on Sanibel, Bella Line, Fox 4.